I am not the happiest. I'm not the happiest because to me, YouTube just keeps getting harder and harder and harder. Like. guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is olive nkirete and this is olive nkirete rebranded i am confused as to how i want to react about this video because when i got that email pop up i was like okay it's happening i believe if you're a youtuber if you're a content creator wherever you are in the world you've seen that email and if you're not a content creator if you're not an influencer maybe you're looking to start youtube or maybe you're curious and you want to learn then maybe you've seen your favorite youtubers or content creators actually saying what the actual f yeah so i'm about to explain to you what's happening i'm going to go a bit theoretical at the beginning but at the end i'm going to show you guys how to sign up for this new tax that's been imposed on us okay let's get let's get into this video okay? tax information required for all monetized creators outside the u.s rather depressing rather depressing and let me tell you guys this is a theory that i have as to why i think this has happened and if i'm wrong i'm ready to be corrected at the comment section one my theory is the u.s government has been dishing out stimulus checks and cash bailouts to the american economy to sustain the economy during miss rona or the pandemic period and they're in need of money guys if you follow avid financial channels then you're aware that the market is about to crash there's this insinuation that it's going down and the us dollar is not as strong anymore so i honestly think the government instructed irs to instruct youtube to collect tax so basically what exactly is happening is before i even finish off with my assumptions so that maybe you have an idea of what's happening the new tax that's been imposed is only for creators outside the US. You are only going to be taxed withholding tax, okay, for the earnings you're creating, right, from the American audience. So, if Oliver has a YouTube channel and maybe 80% of her content is predominantly Kenyan, but 20% is from america so the views she gets from america which in turn become earnings which in turn becomes adsense irs want a percentage of that money so basically we are not being taxed um all the adsense we are making no we are being taxed a percentage of what we are making from american yeah, viewers why in all those years have we never been taxed for the views we've made from america if you look at it, Google is honestly a monopoly, guys. YouTube is the second largest search engine platform. It is the largest video hosting platform. And I actually Googled recently how many YouTube channels exist on YouTube, guys. Over 31 million YouTube channels. And from that 31 million YouTube channels, 80% of those channels are not in America. 80, guys, 80% 80 are not in America. So where are they? They are everywhere else. So clearly the target market was outside America. So India has over 200 million users on YouTube. You can imagine how this is a gold mine for IRS. So I think they, you know, they looked at their numbers or they did an audit on Google and they were like, wait, these guys are making actually so much money outside the US borders. Some of these channels actually have a predominant US audience those are my two theories as to why this tax has been introduced but i'm intending to read more about it and just understand where it's come from and probably share my thoughts and sentiments on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram at olive underscore kirote i host business money talks on my stories i'll probably share with you guys on there so definitely follow me on ig so anyway, since now I've given you the ideas as to why I think this tax has been imposed on us and we have to pay Uncle Sam. After I did my signing up, guys, I signed up. I'm already ready to pay my taxes, okay? After I signed up, I realized our withholding tax for Kenya particularly is 30%. 30. So if I make $2,000, 30% of that is $600. So instead of getting $2,000, I'd get $1,400. So my revenue will move from $3,000 to $2,400. So that is essentially what is happening, okay? However, there's a caveat to this, and this is after I read more, 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 more about this tax. There are some countries that have learned that they have a tax treaty with the American government. So, 
if you're among the lucky champs, okay, that your country has a, a treaty, you know, with America, you will pay less tax. And I've seen the countries like Mexico that are going to pay 10%, the countries like Canada that have 0%. So if you submit your tax info and claim a treaty benefit, your tax rate might be reduced. For example, partners in the UK or Canada may be eligible for a tax rate of 0% while partners in Mexico or Korea may be eligible for a tax rate of 10%. So I'm like, Obama didn't even get us a tax treaty for Kenyans. Yani he didn't even try to get us at least. Anyway, from the list, only saw two African countries that have a reduced tax, and that was Egypt and South Africa. This is the link, irs.gov. I'm going to leave this link in the description box down below. It's going to share with you guys the tax treaties for different countries so if you're in africa you'd like to just you know come and check if your country maybe has a tax treaty you can check it here however i did check because i was hoping really really hoping and crossing my fingers that we had a tax treaty but unfortunately we do not so as you guys can see this page provides links to tax treaties between the u.s and the particular country so yeah so i scrolled through to see which african countries are available and honestly speaking i only saw egypt here it is and i continued down 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 okay there's no kenya guys there's no kenya and yeah and the final one is south africa yeah guys those are the only african countries that i saw and yeah i hope this helps anybody sign up and then you'll see the withholding tax you're going to be charged so, i have a few things i wrote down here and these are basically things you should learn about this tax if you are planning to do youtube if you're already a youtuber let me just share with you guys so one you really have to submit your tax information by may 31st 2021 so basically ideally that's like two and a half months may 31st you must have signed up for the tax two if you don't sign up now what will happen is youtube will decide to deduct 24 percent of your total earnings which is even more messed up because now they will not be just deducting your american earnings and going back to my example where imagine we are making three thousand dollars we've seen that maybe my total amount would have been twenty four hundred dollars right but now if they tax 24 percent of your three thousand dollars do you know how much you'll have instead? You'll have 2,280, which is even way less. So I'm gonna to suggest to you all, my sisters and brothers, kindly sign up for the tax as soon as you can, okay? The third thing is Google is actually collecting tax from all the earnings that stem from YouTube. So in other countries, there's, I don't know, super chat, stickers, memberships, other than just AdSense. So in all those brackets of creating income on YouTube, you will be taxed as long as it's from an audience in America. And then the final thing is officially start in June 2021. I guess that's why they have a deadline till May for all the countries outside the US to sign up for this tax. So yeah, from June guys, from June we're being taxed. Uh, why? So I'm going to show you how I've signed up for my form. It's very easy, it's very quick, don't you worry. You're going to be done in like five seconds. So let's get on to that part of the video right now. So first things first, when you enter your AdSense account, you're going to see a very huge banner at the top. Add your tax information. So what type of account is Olive and Kirote? It's an individual account. Am I a citizen or resident of the US? No, I'm not. Again, we scroll down and then here you're going to see there are two types of form, the W-8 tax form type and we are a W-8 BEN. The BEN is for non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. We cannot be 8ECI because it's most commonly used by a non-US business entity or individual that earns income related to its US trade or business and files a US income tax return. Click on W8 Ben. Then I'm going to click start W8 Ben form. So here you'll see the tax identity, basically the name of the individual, is there and then doing business as name or disregarded entity so this was optional the country i scrolled down and i found kenya and i clicked kenya then i scrolled down 
So if you look at the doing business as name is a company name different from the owner's name. So I mean, I am Olive Nkirote, but I'm doing business as ONR. So I decided to type ONR there. Pretty much that is what I figured they meant and that's what I did. So the taxpayer identification number is a process number required by the IRS. But again, guys, we are not trying to acquire a treaty. We are not among the countries that have been given a treaty. I've already mentioned the countries that are eligible for a treaty. So if you are eligible, this is your portion. Read about it on the blue line and I think you will figure out what to do. Then next, you're going to now put your address. So I'm going to just fast forward this whole place as I key in my address. Then once you fill in your address, they're going to ask you, are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? You're going to say no. However, if you're in a country that it is, you're going to say yes. Then click next, the document preview. So you can click on that link to see the preview of how the document looks like. You can just read through it and see the nitty gritties of the document then you can go back and just say i have confirmed that i have reviewed the generated tax document so certification scroll down you put your legal name as the legal name is acting as a signature so kindly read through the certification because i mean this is a contract you're signing it's good to read the fine print and are you the person listed in the signature section if you're the one just click yes if no you can click no then activities and services performed in the u.s again are you an individual who has offered services for google within us nope if you're not in the u.s don't click yes and then the last part is the status change affidavit again are you providing tax for a new or existing payment profile you're going to say an existing payment profile because i'm already monetized and i've been monetized for some time however if you're a new youtuber now this is the place you would click the first box read through the last final blueprint and submit once it's done it's going to populate um this page and you can see down here that our our tax is honestly 30 percent and yes and then again you can click on the additional documents and see how they look there is a certificate of non-us activities this is how it looks you can save these documents and keep them for yourself then there's also now the affidavit of unchanged status again you can download this and keep it in your documents and then finally you can now download the final w8 ben form and as well you can just keep it so guys that is honestly how you sign up to be tax approved very easy very quick and very stress-free so i hope this video has come through for you i hope you've learned a lot and yeah anyway guys that is it for today's video i am not the happiest i'm not the happiest because to me youtube just keeps getting harder and harder and harder like we already have a minimum of the requirements for us to be eligible to even monetize on youtube and those minimums are not easy that is one thing you have to tackle then there's a second thing which is now this google withholding tax for any american viewers so if you don't have american viewers you will not be taxed anything <laughs> but if you have american viewers which chances are you have at least 10 percent you'll be taxed and then the third thing is just the fact that there is now digital service tax in Kenya, which I think I'm going to talk about it when I do an in-depth taxes video. So, yo, it's getting hard, but you know what? We adapt, we move. Those who adapt faster, advance 
fastest okay that's it for today's video guys remember to start where you are use what you have but most of all do what you can this is onr i hope you've learned something and if you have smash the like button comment down below you can just tell me how frustrated you are as well we can relate on that and yeah share it to your friends and family who are on youtube who are looking to start youtube so that they can learn a thing or two otherwise bye guys see you on the next one